What's up guys, Jens Garcia here and in this video we're going to be installing uh, the Foxhound uh, ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 international version. Alright, so first thing you want to do is to just uh, go ahead and download the file that I'm going to be providing in the description box. So once you download that, all you have to do is to just transfer it to your uh, internal memory. So uh, probably in the download folder just to make things easier for you and once you've done those things all you want to do now is to just go to your uh, custom recovery so let me just power this off go OK so once that's turned off we're gonna be going to the custom recovery and in this case I've actually got a clockwork mod alright so all you want to do is to just hold this uh, the power button volume up and the uh, uh, home button so all at the same time so just wait for a few seconds and that should take us to custom recovery alright so all you gotta do first is obviously uh, wipe data and factory reset now before we do that make sure you've got a, a backup of all your uh, files I've already made a backup of this so I don't have to do that then pretty much just go wipe data So we'll just wait for a few seconds and then we go wipe cache. Alright, once it's done, you got advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache as well. Okay, and then we go back, we go install zip from SD card go in the bottom internal SD card choose zip from internal SD card and all we want to do now is just pretty much uh, find the zip, zip file that we downloaded and in this case I've got the foxhound underscore rising 1.3 okay so and then all you want to do now is just go uh, press the power button and then uh, go yes and this should uh, install the uh, ROM, so <clears throat> we just wait for a few minutes. Alright, so there we go. Foxhound. Now make sure you've got um, enough battery to install the file or the ROM. So, okay, here we go. Go next. Go custom. So we'll have plenty of choices here during the installation. Okay, install data without wiping and data partition. We just go next. Okay, yes, install full version. Good. Here you've got uh, plenty of choices of the recovery. We've got touch, chain fire, SIA, no flash recovery. We just go touch. Here you've got different kernels. Okay, here you've got stock. Sire, no flash kernel, Persis, we'll get, just go with the recommended one just to make things quicker. Right here, select your theme, go to Foxhound, Black, Crazy Silver. Alright, we'll go and um, click the Foxhound. Here you've got uh, choices on your uh, launchers as well. So you've got Jellybean, MIUI. In this case, we're going to go with the Jelly Bean. Go next. You've got status uh, status bar thing. We've got uh, plenty of choices as well. So we've got the install fax sound uh, battery, circle battery, uh, circle 2 battery, speed battery, stock battery. Uh, you can hide it or no change icon. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go with the circle 2. Just to have something different. And here you've got your dialer theme as well. Dialer stock and carbon. Uh, I would like the carbon one. Here you've got uh, you can change the SMS as well. So we go uh, theme blue. Yes, install keyboard. Not really AOSP. Nope. Let's go next. Okay, add-ons. So here you've got uh, different uh, uh, few add-ons as well. For example, the awesome beat. So it's gonna go next. 
here we've got plenty as well so different scripts all right stop value moderate this is gonna go next okay <clears throat> here you've got performance work on startup got yes fat 32 or exfat this is better than the fat 32 okay so I'm just gonna go next okay here you've got um, apps you want to install you want to use so so there's plenty over there we're not really gonna check all of them right now this is just about installation okay so we'll just wait for a few minutes again alright so I just finished um, installing we're just gonna go ahead and go next now and yes we're gonna reboot the device and this is actually my first custom uh, ROM that I've installed on my Samsung Galaxy S3 now I've been waiting for this time because I just haven't had time lately to install the ROM so there you go really nice boot animation it's sort of like 3D so like that one okay I right, just let me know guys if what ROMs you wanna see uh, me install on the Samsung Galaxy S3 so just let me know in the comments down below alright so we're gonna wait for a few seconds again just to finish alright so here we go guys here we go at the startup uh, page okay or startup setting page it's gonna go ahead and click English it's gonna go Australia okay we go next now here you can see the different icon already Okay. Okay, I'm just actually gonna skip for now. Alright, 656. It's actually five. Set okay. Yep, the date is right. It's gonna go ahead and set up the time zone. Alright, GMT ten. Here we go. Sydney and Canberra. Go next skip okay I'm just gonna set this all later no I don't want that one okay no thanks we'll set this up later as well finish alright so there we go wow really nice theme okay go cancel Alright, so there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the settings just to have a look. Alright, so looking at the icons, it's sort of similar to the um, TouchWiz one, and I kind of like it. So 4.1.1, 4 this is actually based from the JRO03C um, build number. So, and ROM Fox Sound Rising 1.3 developer Snake. So, thank you for uh, making, up, making this ROM. Really appreciate it. Alright, so there you go guys, that is a how to install the Foxhound ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 international version. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.